Hi friends hope you all with me last day we began our word stress in which we saw the syllables do you know what is a syllable i think all of you know that and based on the number of syllables we classified words into four they are monosyllabic words disyllabic words trisyllabic words and polysyllabic words today we are entering into the part 2 of our module 2 that is morphemes morphemes is it a new word for you possible but it's quite simple morpheme is defined as the smallest meaningful unit in a language smallest meaningful unit in a language repeat you have notebook and pen copy it down morpheme is the smallest meaningful unit in a language there are various kinds of morphemes but we discuss only four morphemes that is very much useful for us they are past tense morpheme present tense morpheme plural morpheme and possessive morpheme do you still have any doubt might be how we identify a morpheme that may be your doubt we identify a morpheme by the end of the word for example past tense morpheme is dealing with the verb in a past tense you see verbs in past tense that end in d ed or ied are the examples for past tense morpheme and the verbs in the present tense that end in yes es or ies are example for present tense morpheme and for the plural morpheme it is the same and for the possessive morpheme we have apostrophe and yes let me repeat today we are entering into the second part of our module 2 of the word stress last day we saw the syllables syllables were can you repeat what are syllables okay syllables determine the monosyllabic words disyllabic words trisyllabic words and the polysyllabic words and today we discuss the morpheme morpheme is the um, smallest meaningful unit in a language there are various morphemes but we discuss only four morphemes which are useful for us they are past tense morpheme present tense morpheme plural morpheme and possessive morpheme we identify a morpheme by looking at the end of a word thus a past tense morpheme can be identified if that verb in past tense end in d ed or i ed if the verb in present tense ends in yes es or i es we identify the present tense morpheme the same is for a plural morpheme and we have possessive morpheme by having yes or es why we learn morpheme is that morpheme has a role in our speaking there are some rules to pronounce morphemes correctly let's go in detail here we have the morpheme morpheme is the smallest meaningful unit in a language we discuss the past tense morpheme present tense morpheme plural morpheme and the possessive morpheme dear friends before i enter into the morphemes i'd like to discuss with you 
the voiced and voiceless phonemes that we saw in the level 1. It is a part of revision. So, what is a voiced phoneme and voiceless phoneme? There is the vibration of the vocal cord that is voiced. And if there is no vibration of the vocal cord that is voiceless. And we have the list of voiced phoneme and the voiceless phonemes. Voiced phonemes include all the vowel phonemes, the short vowel phonemes, long vowel phonemes and the diphthongs. All the consonant phonemes could be broadly classified into these two. The voiced consonant phonemes are B, D, G, J, V, D, Z, J, M, N, M, L, R, W, and U. The voiceless consonant phonemes are P, T, K, F, T, S, F, SH, H. Good. Before entering into it, let's revise the phonemes. Here we have the vowel phonemes. All the vowel phonemes are voiced phonemes since there is the vibration of the vocal cords. All the consonant phonemes can be classified into two on the basis whether it is a voiceless consonant phoneme or a voiced consonant phoneme. Let's learn the realization of the past tense morpheme. If the verb ends with a voiced sound, the past tense form of the verb takes D sound at the end. First, let's look the verb call. Call ends with the phoneme L. And it is a voiced consonant phoneme. Hence, the past tense is called die died fry fried slow slowed join joined the second rule is if the verb ends with a voiceless sound, the past tense form of the verb takes till sound at the end. And we have the verbs that end with a voiceless sound. Bless Blessed Talk Talked Pop, popped, push, pushed, laugh, laughed. Good. If the verb ends with t or d sound, the past tense form of the verb takes it sound at the end. Roast, roasted, weld, welded, greet, greeted, protect, protected, want, wanted. Friends, I hope that you got the idea of the morphemes. Clear? Morphemes helps you to pronounce legibly the past tense forms 
and the present tense forms. Let me ask you one thing. Is this class helping you to speak English better? I want an answer from you. If you see this class is helping you, that shows that you pay attention to the classes. If you find there is no improvement in the pronunciation, I think you need to pay a little more attention to the video. Sure, we have cl our class has at the end of the seventh class. So there need to be a considerable change in your pronunciation if you have practiced regularly. There will be a little bit change. If you don't notice, your friends may notice that there is change in your pronunciation. So pay attention, practice regularly. And we have the exercise 7, activity 7, where you will be finding some words. So you may uh, copy that words in phonemes and read it. It will help you to improve your idea about morphemes. These examples are selected like that. Hope you enjoyed the classes and session was beneficial. Keep me in your prayers, you are in my prayers. So, see you tomorrow.